Well, what a great performance by the guys. I, uh, I challenged the guys this week um, you know, to, to improve upon what we did in week one and then uh, in particular this morning to, to get the fight started quickly and, uh, and jump on them from the start. And I was so pleased we were able to get a nice kick return, take it down and get a field goal. Uh, and then the defense came up really big with a, a stop go down and get another touchdown and uh, I just thought the emotion and the energy the guys played with today uh, was what we were looking for and, and uh, I told the guys in the locker room that's a credit to our upperclassmen, a credit to our captains and leadership that uh, they had the guys ready to play and so um, that was a, a fun environment out there for the guys. It was great to see an awful lot of guys play. Our, our plan all along was to play a bunch of freshmen today, didn't matter what the score was, just to see how they would react. Um, uh, under live fire and, and uh, we'll look at the film but I was glad to see some guys play and then we'll see you know how much they play moving forward but I was just glad to get them out there so uh, excited for the guys um, good to have this 2-0 homestand and we know that uh, there's a lot of tough games in front of us starting next week in Mississippi State so we've got to be able to uh, enjoy this and then uh, put it behind us and go to work on Monday so open it up for questions. Mm -hmm. uh, how impressed were you with the, with the offense's you know, ability to be able to bounce back? Yeah, you know, and the holding call was you're going to get those once in a while. I mean, we, we have a nice run and, and uh, get a holding call, and, and that's, that's aggressive football. I, I can live with that. And then uh, Skyler was trying to change the play. Uh, we get a delay of game. Nobody panics, and that was a big key is, is nobody was panicking, and, and they, we, well, this is, we're behind the sticks. we got to get ahead of the sticks now. And so uh, did a nice job there, and then uh, I, I was – we had talked on third down that if we didn't get it, we were going to go for it on fourth down. Uh, and that was kind of us, I think, showing some confidence in Skyler to, to what's your best call? What do you like the most? And we were going to throw a quick game, and he saw a press corner and said we're going to take a shot with Malik. And um, really, really excited for Malik. Uh, to play as well as he did with some unbelievable catches and, and obviously with Skyler uh, just putting the game in his hands and saying, hey, we trust you, go win it, and uh, he played really well himself. Are, are there any facets of the game that you'd be concerned about to start uh, We'll look at the film, but obviously we're going to continue to improve. I, I, it's you know, hard to you know, reflect on that uh, 60 minutes of football. Uh, that quickly, but obviously all all facets we've got to improve upon, and that's that's the challenge. You know, you, you win two games pretty handily. You better not fall in love with yourself. You better keep striving to be better. And uh, in all phases, offense, defense, and special teams, we we have to just go back to work and continue to stack each day. We talk about it all the time. Stack great day upon great day, Monday through Friday, to give yourself a chance to be successful on Saturday. Um, when you're playing behind that offensive line, you can look pretty good, too. Uh, we've got a great offensive line, so let's give the credit to those guys. Uh, but, uh, no, real pleased with our backs. I thought uh, uh, James Gilbert made a, made a big-time run today, you know, bouncing outside and getting you know, banged up and then, and then hitting the edge and making a big play. Uh, Jordan Brown had a big run. Uh, Harry's running really hard. We, we wanted to try the younger guys. We didn't play Tyler as much just to see what the younger guys did could do. Nothing to do with Tyler. I just want to see those younger guys. So uh, I, I feel comfortable, uh, and we're going to need all of them moving forward. Yeah, I don't have any uh, information on, on why. They said um, Walt could have come back into the game. We just elected not to have him come back. Did your wide receivers make big improvements, or is that what you've been seeing generally? Well, I thought we made great improvements at wide receiver blocking. You know, that was the area that we needed to focus on that we didn't do as good a job in week one that I thought we did a great job of week two of going and, and digging out some safeties and allowing us to get some runs. And, uh, and then, uh, you know, I thought we were real efficient in the passing game, and that's what we were hoping to be. You know, once we got up that much, we weren't going to keep throwing it. But, uh, you know, Skyler to go, I think it was, it was 11 of 13. Skyler was, you know, that, that tells me a pretty, 10 of 13, pretty efficient day. Through two games, what things, if any, come to mind that you didn't accomplish that you would hope to? Come to um, just continuing to work on scenarios, whether it's red zone. You know, we've been productive in the red zone. Uh, haven't had a lot of opportunities in, on defense, so we've emphasized that a little bit more, and we'll have to continue this week to emphasize some red zone defense. 
Um, be nice if we didn't have to defend the red zone, but uh, I think that's uh, reality is going to strike here. Um, but just overall, we just have to continue to improve. Whether it's you know we were really good on third down again, uh, but we've got to continue to, to work uh, on third down defense. We've got to continue to work um, you know some play action, some things on first down. I think overall our body of work has been good, but you know this is just two games and uh, we took care of business. But now um, we really got to play well. You uh, had a dominant time of possession begin today, almost 43 minutes. How nice is that to see your team uh, back that up for back that game? That, um, that would be the recipe for success. And and if you want to look back at uh, the the path that we we had taken a few the last few years, that's what we were able to do is is not put yourself um, in a situation where you're playing 80 plays on, on defense. And as you could tell. Bowling Green wanted to go fast, even though it was a different for, uh, formations than a lot of the spread teams. They were more 12 personnel. They wanted to go fast. Well, if you're going fast and you're going three and out and you're kicking it back to us, and even if we don't score, but we're taking it seven minutes, you know, as a defensive guy, you're saying, come on, let's get something rolling because we've got to go right back on the field. And so um, you, you, there's some, for instance, the first drive is a great example. Yeah, we wanted to punch that thing in and get seven, but you know, we took a good chunk of time and got three and were productive. I've seen that all through fall camp. It, it's been kind of cool because uh, he makes the tough catches, uh, and sometimes he'll, he'll he'll drop the one that everybody expects him to make, and then he'll come back three plays later in practice. And you're like, holy cow, what a, what a great catch! And I just think he's playing with a ton of confidence, and uh, it helps when when Skyler is confident in him and uh, and continues to go back to him. Um, just w situations that we haven't seen yet, like the red zone defense, we have to continue. Now, if we're going to play that and have 42 minutes, none of us will complain, guys. We'll take that every week to have 42 minutes of, of possession and be out there for 17. But uh, just w we haven't stacked a ton of plays on defense to get a great evaluation of uh, the guys that maybe don't have as much Big 12 experience. You know, Trey Deshaun, uh, Reggie, and, and those guys that have played a ton of Big 12 snaps, A.J., yeah, you know where they're going to be, whether they play 28 snaps or 80 snaps. It's the younger guys that we're trying to continue to grow defensively that haven't played a ton of snaps, which tells us we've got to continue to put those guys in practice situations against our offense, whether it's a third down period, whether it's a red zone period, to try to make practice as difficult as you can to simulate the game reps. Um, just a bigger back. Uh, I think they're both exceptionally talented guys. Um, we just we wanted to check out Jacardier because he has that size. Uh, Joe's a pretty electric guy as well. They both are going to have really bright futures here. Uh, but we have the upperclassmen backs that we're really pleased with, and so we just I thought I was glad to get both of them some carries. You know, Joe was able to get eight. Jacardier was able to get fourteen. That's great experience for those guys. And um, you know, whether or not we'll utilize the four game rule. Or if we'll continue to play those guys, that, that'll still be yet to be determined. Yeah, he's, he struggled a little bit today, but I've got a lot of confidence in, in Phillip. He had the big kick return to start the start the game, which was a huge play. And, and, and Phillip's a, a great young man, confident kid, and we'll get him back on track. But uh, uh, Phillip will, will continue to, to return punts for us. He's, a, he's an exceptional player. We'll get him back on track. Yeah, it was really good. We, we pressured a little bit more, and, and we kind of encouraged the D-line to kind of cut it loose a little bit, which was, uh, which was good to see. Uh, they laid their ears back and, and rushed the passer, and uh, I thought uh, Coach Hayes, once again, called an exceptional game plan to give the guys in position to make plays as well. Well, because we didn't know a lot about James other than the, the character of the young man, I, I just love being around him because he's, he works his tail off. And you'd think he's been in the program for four years, not six months. Uh, he's got 
fast friendships with all these guys. Um, he's become a wildcat pretty quickly. Uh, I'm just so impressed with his maturity, his toughness, and the fact he's a one heck of a teammate. He's on the field just as fast when somebody scores, you know, whether it was Harry uh, making a play or, or Jordan. He's out there because he's excited for the guys, and, that, and that's unselfish play that we have to have, and it's fun to see. Okay, thank you. Thanks, guys.